If you're looking to create separate images of the internal buffers in Lightwave, one tool that can, can really come in handy is the Render Buffer View. Let's take a look at it in action. I've got this scene here, and I'm going to go over to Control F8, and under Add Image Filter, I'm going to choose Render Buffer View. Okay, I'm going to double click, and in this panel, we've got the different internal buffers that, that we can uh, choose from here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a few. Let's choose Depth. Uh, let's do diffuse shading, shadow, uh, let's do specular shading and specular so we can see the difference between those two. And then let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do shaded diffuse. Okay, and, or actually let's go ahead and do um, uh, shaded reflection. Okay, so we've got a few of these internal buffers and we've checked them. And let's go ahead and do an F9. Okay, and so with the render buffer view, what it does is we've got our, our final image here, and under layer, we've got the different passes. So I can choose specular, which is going to show the, the amount of specularity on, on the surfaces. We've got our shadow pass. Now, and we've got the, the, the different passes here, our, our depth pass. And what we can do is if we decide that, yep, we want to we want to save this image we can do what we usually do is come over here to save RGBA and choose the format that we want and we can save out this image but we can also do it with these if we want to save out our depth pass we can come over here to, to save RGBA and, and we can choose the format that we want here so you can save out individual passes you know each for each internal buffer you can save out an image Okay. If you want this to be automated, that's when you'd want to use the render buffer export. But what I've found is if you're if you're just getting used to working with the different passes and you want to know what you're going to get, uh, sometimes it's not a bad idea to use the render buffer view image filter to see what you're going to be getting here and then go and you can turn that off and then go to your um, render buffer export and set up which passes you want there that'll that'll automatically save them off to uh, you know the designated folder so that's just a quick look at render buffer view and uh, remember that when you select the different internal buffers here it's like the different passes uh, it will display them here in the image viewer